Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of the Pool Guy Show podcast. This week I'm going to be talking about suction side pool cleaners. I'm going to go over all the details you need to know when you're thinking about purchasing a suction side pool cleaner. I'm going to give you the list of the best suction side pool cleaners and the ones that I use on my pool route. And this episode is brought to you by Riptide Pool Vacuum System. It's a great way to vacuum out a pool that has very large debris. It's a self-contained battery-operated vacuum with a large debris bag on top. You can learn more about the Riptide Pool Vacuum System at www.riptidevac.com. So on my route, I have about 70 automatic pool cleaners. There's a good mix of robotic suction and pressure cleaners on my route. The majority of my cleaners on my pool route are suction cleaners. So in this podcast, I'm going to cover mainly the suction cleaners. And I'll cover the pressure and the robotic cleaners in separate podcasts. So what exactly is a suction pool cleaner? Basically, it works off of your existing pool equipment. It'll connect to your skimmer, or if you have a newer pool, it'll connect to something called a side port vacuum port. This is a dedicated line that has a valve by the equipment that you can adjust to adjust the flow to this line. You can connect the uh, cleaner directly to this side port vacuum port line. This will allow the skimmer to operate also with the vacuum working. If you have an older pool, you're going to have to attach the suction cleaner directly into your skimmer, and most cleaners will come with a adapter for the skimmer that will allow the skimmer to still work while the suction cleaner is working on the bottom. The only drawback with hooking up the suction cleaner to your skimmer is that a lot of the debris will pass through since you have to remove the basket in most cases it will pass through into the pump basket. There is a way around removing the basket from the skimmer and I'll cover that later in this podcast. I'll give you some tips on how to connect your suction cleaner to your skimmer without removing the basket. So let me briefly recap again what a suction side cleaner is. So when you order a suction side cleaner, it's going to come with hoses that are similar to your standard vacuum hose. You're going to take the cleaner and you're going to connect it again to your skimmer side port. And this cleaner will operate directly off of your pool pump. So when the pool is running 6 to 8 hours a day or even longer, that means that the automatic cleaner will also be running along with the pump. So that's the term suction side cleaner. It works off the pool suction. Unlike the pressure cleaner that has usually a separate booster pump or works off the return jets, the suction cleaner will use the pool suction. That means that all the dirt and sometimes debris will go into the filter itself, so you have to be aware of that. So if you have a lot of dirt and debris in your pool, particularly dirt, it will go through the pump basket and into the filter, and it could make your filter dirtier. So it's like manually vacuuming your pool uh, constantly as the cleaner is working in there. So that's one of the benefits of a suction side cleaner. It's going to be working as long as your pool is running. So it's going to be keeping your pool very clean. I particularly like these on my pool route because it'll keep the pools clean during the week. So when I get there, I don't have to manually vacuum a lot of the pools with the cleaners in there. Another great feature of the suction side cleaner is actually the price point. They're pretty cheap. They're not, you can get some as low as $100 on Amazon, the generic type cleaners. I'm not sure about the longevity of them. Uh, the majority of cleaners are anywhere from three to four hundred, which is relatively inexpensive. So you can actually get a good suction side cleaner for three or four hundred dollars for your pool that will help keep it clean all week long. I mentioned that it runs off your pool system, so technically you're saving energy because you're not having a separate booster pump that runs at the same time that your filter pump is running. If you have a variable speed pump, you're going to have to run the variable speed pump at a higher RPM to get the suction cleaner working. Typically in a pool, 2600 to 3100 RPMs will get the cleaner moving really effectively in the pool. Some cases you can run a little bit slower, but you're not going to get effective suction from it if you're running your variable speed pump at a lower speed. Typically a pool pump will run at 3450 RPMs, so you can kind of get the idea how much suction you're going to need to get the suction side cleaner moving in a variable speed pump. Again, you can effectively run it at a lower RPM. But to get the true benefits of the cleaner, you have to run at a higher RPM while the cleaner is running. So you can set the run time for a variable speed pump for maybe two or three hours a day at a higher speed. And that should effectively clean the pool. Another good thing about the suction cleaner is that they're very effective in what they do. They pick up a lot of dirt and debris from the bottom of the pool. And most of them work really well in doing this. So the pool remains relatively clean all week long. They won't clean the step areas of the pool. Some won't climb all the way to the top of the by the tile line. Others will climb all the way up to the wall. 
So there's all different kinds of cleaners that you can get. But bottom line, they're very effective and they'll leave the pool pretty much spotless every week if you get a good one. Now the problems you may encounter if you have very large debris in your pool, uh, the opening for the suction cleaners are relatively small, maybe half an inch in diameter, sometimes a little bit bigger. So any, any large debris will get jammed in the cleaner or won't get picked up by the cleaner. So if you have large maple leaves or if you have uh, relatively large acorns, uh, some cleaners will pick up acorns as, as big as one and a half inches, but if you have larger debris than that, figure that the suction cleaner is not going to work effectively in a pool like that. So you may want to look into a different kind of cleaner if you get really large debris in your pool. Another problem you may run into is that you have a small filter or pump that doesn't give it enough suction to move around the pool. And that can be rectified either by upgrading the filter and pump or maybe just cleaning the filter. Sometimes that will solve the problem. So you have to have the proper amount of suction for the cleaner to move. I recommend nothing smaller than a 3 fourth horsepower pump. And then I recommend a standard size filter. If you have like a 100 square foot cartridge filter, it's not going to be as effective if you have a 320 square foot filter or a 60 square foot D filter. So the filter is a factor with the suction side cleaner. Another drawback is that it has hoses in the pool. And it's about 30 to 40 feet of hoses in your pool. And they're going to remain in the pool as the cleaner is working. And they're a little bit unsightly for some people. When you have to use the pool, you have to take the hoses out. And so that's the drawback is that you're going to actually see the vacuum in the pool the whole time that it's operating. To me, I don't think it's a big issue. I don't mind the cleaner hoses in the pool, but that's just my preference. Other people don't like having the hoses in their pool. And I highly recommend getting a good canister for your suction side cleaner. The canister will prevent large debris from passing through um, the suction line into the pump basket. So all three major manufacturers make a canister. Penter makes a really good one called a leaf trap, and Hayward makes two different canisters, one large and one small. I like those canisters a lot, and also Zodiac makes a cyclonic canister specifically for the locking hoses, but also you can use it for a standard hose, and that one's also very good. So getting a good canister will prevent debris from clogging up your pump basket as the cleaner is running. Now I mentioned there's a, a little trick that you can do with your skimmer connection. So what I like to do is I like to take the, the skimmer basket out, and then I take a razor blade and cut a hole in the bottom of the basket. I try to cut the hole in a circular pattern and then what I do is I get the cleaner hose that's going to go into the skimmer adapter that comes with the cleaner and I stick the hose through the hole in the skimmer basket you kind of get the idea and I put the uh, hose onto the adapter and then you the basket will set in the skimmer with the hole in it but the hose from the cleaner will fill up the hole itself if you cut it correctly and so as the skimmer is working partially the, all the debris will get trapped in the basket. So then all you have to do is reach in there with your hand every week and pull out all the debris around the basket. You don't have to remove it and that way the, the pump basket will remain relatively clean. There may be some debris that will sneak through the area where the hose and basket have the, the hole cut, but the majority of the debris will be stuck in the basket. There are also some different devices. Um, the Skim Doctor that I really like has a backplate adapter that you can use also. It does something similar to this. And then there's a uh, Pentair VacMate that also works like this. But the, the, less, the least expensive way of doing it is just take your skimmer basket, cut a razor, use a razor blade and cut a hole, circular hole in the bottom, and then stick the hose through. And then you're set to go and you have nothing to worry about as far as debris going to the pump basket. So those are uh, some tricks that I use on my route. Uh, the canister to help keep the pump basket clean, and also cutting a hole in the, in the skimmer basket if you're connecting it to your pool that way. So if you go to my website, swimmingpoollearning.com, I have a page with the best automatic suction side cleaners of 2017, and I have them listed here. I'm going to go over in order and in detail of why I chose these as the best cleaners. And the number one cleaner that I have on my pool route, I have probably about 15 or 16 of them on my, my route right now, is the uh, Pool Cleaner by Hayward. And formerly it was its own company before Hayward purchased it, and I was a real big fan of them before Hayward took over. And Hayward expanded the line, kind of expanded it, but you'll see from this podcast that they didn't really expand it. They just um, did what a lot of manufacturers do. What they did is they put on a new shell on the cleaner itself, and one of them is called the Aquanaut. So the two-wheel version is the Aquanaut 200, and the four-wheel version is Aquanaut 400. And they also have a Hayward Phoenix, which is the same thing, 
and that's sold exclusively at Leslie's Pool Supplies. So it's just a different body on the same cleaner. So the Pool Cleaner, Aquanaut, and the Phoenix are all the same exact cleaner. They just have a different colored shell, different colored hoses on it. The only exception is the Hayward Aquanaut 450. I don't want to go into too much detail here, but the 450 basically has the same cam as the, as the uh, 200. So it's going to have a shorter turn cycle than the 400. If you have any questions about the Pool Cleaner Aquanaut or Phoenix, you can just contact me directly and I'll go over it in more detail. But the reason why I like these cleaners is that they have a turbine inside there, uh, the V-Flex turbine they call it, and the veins in the turbine actually expand and open up and they can actually take in very large debris. These are the cleaners that can pick up the one and a half inch acorns. They can pick up a good pile of debris without getting clogged. They're also a geared cleaner, and I'll go over that also. I'll talk about the different types of cleaners as I'm describing the best cleaners. And so a, a geared cleaner is basically a cleaner that has a set turn cycle. And so if it hits the step area, you'll see it hitting against there. And then after about, you know, as it runs through its cycle, it'll actually start the turn either with the pool cleaner one wheel will actually stop moving the other wheel will turn and that's how it kind of turns itself out of corners and step areas so just know that the geared cleaners are the ones that kind of have a turn cycle programmed in and they can turn themselves out of any kind of corner or step area of the pool and the pool cleaner Aquanaut and Phoenix is a geared type cleaner which I prefer on my pool route they never get stuck in any areas in the pool they work very effectively Another reason why I like these cleaners is that the parts are super long lasting. The internal parts, you rarely have to change them. With the redesigned uh, cleaner that when Hayward took over, uh, they made it even more durable. So the only parts on these cleaners you're going to have to change are the rubber tires that wear out every 12 to 18 months. And probably the hoses. I have some on my route now where the hoses are starting to crack because the cleaner is so old. I have a pool cleaner that's about 7 years old and I have to replace the hoses. That's how durable these cleaners are. They'll outlive the hoses. So these are a great cleaner and a great product, and that's why it's number one. Uh, it was number one before Hayward took over, and Hayward made some improvements and had some extra models put on the market, and it's still the best suction side cleaner on the market. So coming in a close second is the Zodiac MX-8 Elite. This cleaner is really good. It's also a geared cleaner. It's got a unique turn cycle also that turns out of corners and other step areas. One thing I forgot to mention about the pool cleaner Hayward Aquanaut and Phoenix is that the wall climbing ability depends on your pool suction. You can also change the throat on those cleaners to give it more wall climbing ability. But they don't climb the walls very effectively in most pools. They will climb in some pools. But the MX-8 Elite, this thing will climb your walls to the tile line. In fact, it may climb too much. You have to reduce the suction. So the MX-8 Elite also has scrubbing brushes on the bottom, so as it's moving on the pool bottom, on the surface, the scrubbing brushes will scrub algae and dirt off the bottom of the surface of the pool. Um, it's a really great, well-designed cleaner, and this one will climb, again, all the way up to the tile line, so it's an excellent climbing cleaner. Um, there's a lot of parts to this cleaner. They do wear out, but they're easy to change, and they're relatively inexpensive as far as parts go. And so you figure after about a year and a half, you're going to start changing some parts on this cleaner. It's not a really hard cleaner to work on, and the, again, the parts aren't that expensive. Now, I'm going to give you the drawback to the MX-8 Elite. The drawback is that the way the um, cleaner works is that any kind of long string like debris will get caught in the engine. So that'll get trapped in the cleaner and cause it to stop working. So you want to make sure that if you're going to get this cleaner for your pool, you don't have any long string like debris that will get in your pool. What I'm talking about is like any kind of plant debris that's 12 to 8 inches long, that's maybe half an inch thick. The MX-8 will suck it in there and then this will get tangled up in the engine of the cleaner and stop the cleaner. So you're going to have to open it up and remove that debris. But if you have regular debris in your pool, not long stringy debris, this is a great effective cleaner. And that's the only reason why it's number two on the list is because of the the problem with long string debris that gets stuck in the engine. Now if you're looking for a smaller cleaner, the MX-6 is also very good. It's almost like the MX-8 except it is smaller and it has a few less parts and it has its the same ability to turn out of the out of the steps and corners and the same climbing ability. So the MX-6 is also a great choice for a suction side cleaner. One uh, caveat here is that the cleaners have these new locking type hoses. You may not like them 
The only one of the drawbacks is the canister choice. You have to kind of get an adapter or get the Zodiac Cyclonic canister. Another problem is when you go to manually vacuum your pool with the vacuum head, you can't really use the locking hoses unless you get an adapter for it also. I designed an adapter. I have a video on my channel showing you how to manually vacuum your pool with one of these Zodiac locking hoses. But the hoses are very durable and they don't um, keep their form. If you take it out of the pool and lay it on the deck, um, curled up, it doesn't hold that form. And I'm going to mention this real quick in the middle of these this review of the best cleaners. When you take your suction side cleaner out of your pool, you're not supposed to roll it up in a like a, your traditional pool hose and coil it up. Because the hoses will get the same memory. When you put it back in, they're going to be kind of curved. So when you take the cleaner out, you want to lay it lengthwise, you know, even up to 30 feet. And then keep the hoses as straight as possible, or just remove each hose section and lay them out that way. If you curl it up, it's going to kind of ruin the cleaner's ability to, to function properly, because the hoses will keep that memory. Number three is the Penta Rebel or Warrior. It's a lot like the pool cleaner. Um, the only thing that's really different about it is that sometimes debris will get caught in the throat of the cleaner. It's not quite as effective as picking up large debris. Another problem is that the swivel on top tends to get jammed with small debris. This will cause the cleaner to kind of coil up. But other than that, the cleaner is very similar to the um, pool cleaner Aquanaut Phoenix. One good thing about the Rebel and Warrior, and I mentioned the Rebel and Warrior, they're the same cleaner. The Rebel is sold at retail stores and the Warrior is sold online. So it's another cleaner that has two of the same cleaners um, with different shells on it and different colors. But one thing I really like about the Rebel and Warrior is that they really climb the walls well. In fact, they'll even come out of the pool and suck air. Their wall climbing ability is so good. And it has a lot to do with the design of the cleaner itself versus the pool cleaner. So if you're looking for a cleaner similar to the pool cleaner with great wall climbing ability, the Pentair Rebel and Warrior, um, again, very, very similar to the pool cleaner, but a little bit better wall climbing ability. Not quite as good with the debris, but a solid, solid cleaner. So that's number three. The number four cleaner on the list may surprise you. is the Creepy Crawly Great White or the Dorado Cleaner. I really like this cleaner. At first, I didn't really care for these cleaners, but as I started using them on my pool route, I really like them. They're, they're pretty ugly. There's no way around it. They're just a rectangular cleaner with the brushes on the bottom. But they, they kind of bounce, like the Creepy Crawly, traditional Creepy Crawly bouncing cleaner. And that bouncing motion with the brushes on the bottom will loosen up dirt and debris. And surprisingly, they pick up very large debris. And the pattern that they, they work off of is really good. They'll kind of like shimmy along the bottom of the pool and climb the walls really high, actually, to the tile line. And in doing so, they're going to clean the pool really effectively. And I have a couple of these um, on my route right now, the Dorado and the and the Great White, and they are leaving. They leave the pools just spotless. It's, they're really a great cleaner. They're really underrated uh, as far as a suction side cleaner. So you may want to look into this cleaner also. Um, it's great for all pool surfaces also, since it has the brushes. So you definitely want to look into that. And I'm going to uh, touch on number five here, which is the Creepy Crawly. Um, cleaner. It's no longer called the Classic. It's the uh, 360040 or the 360042. It's a redesigned Creepy Crawly from about four years ago. Now this cleaner is really good and I'll give you the drawbacks. It makes a lot of noise while it's cleaning the pool and it may get stuck in corners. And I consider this the bouncing type cleaner. Same as the Zodiac G3, the Wahoo cleaner. Um, those generic cleaners you find on Amazon for 100 bucks are all these bouncing type cleaners. And they'll bounce along the pool either with a diaphragm or with a creepy crawly has a hammer in the mouth that, that causes it to move when the sucks, it sucks the water. And they pick up really good large debris. The creepy crawler is really good at picking up large debris. And again, I mentioned the drawbacks that make it stuck in a corner. And I'm going to say this also. If you have a vinyl or fiberglass pool, you want to avoid the gear type cleaners, even the MXA Delete and... Um, anything that kind of is a geared type cleaner won't climb very effectively in a fiberglass or vinyl pool. So my suggestion for one of those pools, either above ground vinyl, in ground vinyl, or fiberglass pool, is to go with a bouncing type cleaner. You can get the Creepy Crawly, you can get the Zodiac G3, which is an excellent cleaner, and these will clean the pools very effectively. Um, you can even go with a lower price model, like the 
Zodiac Ranger or Zodiac Wahoo, they do an excellent job in fiberglass and vinyl pools. So don't just discount the balancing cleaners in a plaster, pebble tech, or, or that, that type of surface pool. They work really effectively. They're usually a lot lower price than the gear type cleaner. I think the Creepy Crawly's a little over $200 right now, maybe $250. And the G2 is also in the same price range. So this is a great choice for fiberglass, vinyl pool, and also for a standard plaster pool. They're very effective. Um, again, the drawback, the creepy crawly makes a lot of noise working, especially if you have all cement decking. You're going to really hear this thing working in the pool. As far as parts, the parts are pretty durable and long lasting, and they're also inexpensive. So, you know, the bouncing type cleaners, even though they've gone out of style, and this one here is number five on my list, it's an excellent cleaner for a vinyl fiberglass pool. And if you're on a budget, it's definitely an excellent cleaner uh, for your regular plaster pool. And I just have a bonus one here. Number six is the Hayward Navigator Pullback V-Flex. Um, now this was a premier cleaner. It was in a lot of my accounts along with the old Creepy Crawly. Uh, in fact, everyone calls the cleaners Creepy Crawly still whenever I see a customer. But the Navigator's been redesigned. Since Hayward bought the pool cleaner model, they've taken some of the design of the pool cleaner, incorporated it into the Navigator, specifically the V-Flex Turbine. So you know, the drawback with the Navigator was the parts will wear out really quickly or large debris would jam it up. So with the new V-Flex Turbine from the pool cleaner model, um, this cleaner is actually really good. It cleans really effectively. You'll find that you'll like this Navigator cleaner. It's not my first choice, but if you have a, if you live in a desert where you get a lot of dust and dirt in your pool, the Navigator is just a really awesome cleaner with pools that get a lot of dirt and dust. With the new V-Flex Turbine, however, the Navigator doesn't climb the walls nearly as good as the older model, so be aware of that fact that the V-Flex Turbine has kind of inhibited the Navigator's wall climbing ability. But it's a really solid cleaner, and with the new Turbine, you're going to be changing a lot less parts than you used to in the past. So that's a look at the suction pool cleaners. I hope that you found this podcast helpful. I'm going to be covering the uh, pressure cleaner and robotic cleaners in a separate podcast. If you have any questions regarding suction cleaners, which one would be best for your pool, you definitely email me, send me a photo of your pool, and I'll give you my best recommendation for a suction side cleaner for your pool. So again, I hope you found this week's podcast helpful. Have a great week, and God bless. The Pool Guy Podcast Show. The Pool Guy Podcast Show.